damas y caballeros, Boris Teca, Boxing Promotions y Grito de Guerra Boxing presentan este cotejo pactado a seis rounds en la división de peso ligero. Six rounds of boxing, the lightweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces. Sergio Lechuga, Jesse Hernández y Max Zúñiga La Bandera. And your referee in charge of the action, su referee para este combate, Ángel Méndez. Interesting first, the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing white trunks with black trim. He officially weighs in 135 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul, con pantalones de color blanco con negro, con un peso de 135 libras. He stands with 13 professional bouts, three victories, nine losses, one draw, and two of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord de tres victorias, nueve derrotas, un empate y dos de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. De Tepic Nayarit, Jorge Luis, el Conejo, Álvarez. And his opponent across the ring standing in the red corner, wearing blue and gold. He officially weighs in the same, 135 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja con pantaloncillo color azul con oro, con un peso idéntico de 135 libras. In 22 professional bouts, he stands with a record of 18 victories against four losses, and five of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de 18 victorias, cuatro derrotas, y cinco de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Representing his hometown of Dallas, Texas, USA. Manuel Rey Rojas. And with the, final, with the final instructions, okay. your referee in charge, Angel Mendez. Well, we'll con las indicaciones finales. Six rounds, seis asaltos. Thank you. 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 As we begin the second bout of the afternoon, Manuel Rey Rojas versus Jorge Luis Alvarez. Yeah, this is our, our uh, fourth fighter coming from Tepic, Nayarit. They got a, a free fare round trip bus route. But it's, it looks like it. As Rojas opens up the, the round, being the aggressor, recently coming off a very good win against 15 and 6, Noel Echeverria. And prior to that, he, he lost a, a, a good contested, contested fight against pro prospect Felix Verdejo. I believe that was on ESPN. Um, Good pressure by by Rojas right now. No answer really from Alvarez. Nice waist movement. Yeah, good good head movement from Rojas. You know, good pressure. You know, typical not typical, but 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 pretty much the style of you know of a Texas fighter, man. You know, you guys remember Juan Diaz coming forward, strong, moving. And, and that's the kind of style that um, Manuel Reyes Rojas is, is demonstrating here. Good shots to the body there. Yeah, one note I want to have on, on Rojas is the fact that he's not just walking forward. He's coming forward, but he has that waist, that waist movement along with it. Which a, a lot of fighters seem to, for, to forget that they just want to... Ooh, nice good hook. hook. They focus on doing that, just that, what Rojas just did, uh, throwing the power punches. But they don't move their head. Yeah, they don't move their head, and Rojas is doing that. Uh, if he continues to land shots like he just landed there, it's going to be a, a fast day for Rojas. Yeah, Alvarado so far is uh, on the back foot, but no real answer for Rojas' pressure. Yeah, Alvarez fighting off the ropes here, not, not doing too much. 
Too much damage, two Rojas. As we see a little bounce from Rojas. Alvarez is on the back foot. He's gonna have to land a big shot. He needs to earn Rojas' respect. He can't just keep, um, you know, moving around using the ring. And he's taking some wicked body shots in that process. And even though we say that, you know, it's it, it, it can be easy for Alvarez to try to do something with the pressure that Rojas is putting on him. Intelligent pressure, too. Yeah, very good intelligent pressure by Manuel Rey Rojas. Doing a very good job there, moving his head. Sticking good shots. We see Rojas there sitting, but uh, Alvarez not sitting. Choosing yeah. not to sit down. Uh, what would you say about that, Dylan? What do you? What do you? What is your point of view on sitting in between rounds? I think that's uh, for 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 Rojas. Um, it's fine. You know, you did your work. You come back. You sit. You listen to your coaches. He's being an intelligent fighter right now. But for Alvarez, that's fine. Keep him. Keep him standing because he needs to keep his legs awake. And he needs to move around more. He needs to react. He needs to be active. Maybe maybe not being so passive. Yeah, not so Alvarez. passive. So this is Manuel Rey Rojas. For, I mean, uh, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, he just fought. He just won the, the USPO uh, title. Um, lightweight title, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm enjoying these shots thrown by Rojas here, landing those hard shots to the head of Alvarez. It was hook after hook after hook. After hook. hook. Yeah, he seemed like a pest dispenser, did Alvarez. As Rojas continues to throw, and let's touch back on it that he just fought three weeks ago. He fought and he won three weeks ago. And here he is fighting today across the United States all the way to Mexico, Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah, what do, what does that mean? What do, what does it mean to to fight two times in the three week that short of a period? Whoa! Oh, and a hard right hand by Rojas. He's out. Puts he's Alvarez out. down, and it does not seem like he's gonna get up. The yeah, he's not gonna wait it off immediately. That's and, what it means. And we hope. Yeah, that's that's what it means. <laughs> that's what it means. <laughs> We hope that Alvarez is okay. That was a very hard shot. He's being attended to by the corners and the medics. And, and to answer your question, Gerardo, um, what I think it means is that Rojas means business. He's he's trying he's trying to put himself again in, in a good fight. You know, he had a tough outing against uh, Verdejo. Um, he lost a decision. Uh, he lost a decision. It wasn't a very tough outing, but maybe he got a little bit outworked. I do recall seeing the fight. Rojas was in it. He was doing well. Verdejo took over at one point. Got the got the unanimous decision. Did Verdejo. But he comes out here putting two, two wins. Two solid wins, especially with this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.